The first shock of March Madness was brought to us by a local team with big dreams as Oakland University beat Kentucky, pulling off that upset. And even though they're a 14 seed, the Golden Grizzlies don't consider themselves a Cinderella. Earlier today, our Chris Ledine talked to head coach Greg Canthy. You must still be on cloud nine. Where does this list on accomplishments in your career knocking out number three, Kentucky? Well, you know, this is just great for Oakland University, and it's great for my players. And our president, I got a great president and a great athletic director that have put a lot into this. And to work for them and to have this opportunity is just awesome. And that's really, you know, I got gray hair and wrinkles around my eyes now. You know, I don't really think about what this means for me personally. It's all about Oakland and, and my players. And I know what they feel right now, and it's unbelievable. But we've got work to do. We, we, we want to do more. So uh, as good as this feels, we got to put it aside and move on. You've earned those gray hairs, Coach. You certainly have. Let's just talk about Jack Golke last night. Had a career performance. He's ripping 10 threes. And afterwards, what really caught me was he said, we are not a Cinderella team. Is this something you've really drilled into the team? Well, I think they just believe that. You know, one of the things, we, we really were happy to get Kentucky. And a lot of Kentucky people got mad at me because I said that. And it's, it was more of a compliment to them because we got a chance to play the best. All right, we got a chance to play the best blue blood program on seven o'clock on a Thursday night on CBS. We we wanted that, you know, we embraced that, and and then we went out. And we played pretty darn good, and we showed this whole country that this is a really good basketball team, and Oakland's a good program, and you know, our kids can play, and and I'm so happy for them because the whole world knows that, and Jack. Jack believed that, and that's why he said what he did. You know, we, we don't look at ourselves as a Cinderella that's going to turn into a pumpkin. You know, we, we look at ourselves as a team that can win this thing, and we're going to we're going to go about that. You know, whether we can or not, who knows? But we're we're preparing to win Saturday and move on to next week. Well, you know, you're on cloud nine, like you mentioned this morning. Not much time to celebrate. You play the North Carolina State Wolfpack, another team favored to beat your team. How do you get the team back on level footing and really prepare in the next 36 hours? Yeah, and that's a slippery slope. You know, it really is. It's a slippery slope, and, and we've got to enjoy what happened, but we also have to get back to work. This team's been really good at focusing. Um, one of the, one of, like even last night, every time something went wrong, we fixed it. You know, they tied the game. We scored. They took the lead. We scored two in a row and we got the lead back. And we just kept doing that the whole game and we've done it all year. So I got to believe that these guys can put this aside and start focusing because they want to keep playing. You know, they want to play into next week. They want to keep practicing. They want to be together. And so I believe they can do it. And we'll find out on Saturday if we can. And you created so much excitement locally in this area and across the nation. You know, I have to ask you, you're the longest tenured men's basketball coach, or at least one of them. And from what I've read, you only plan to be in Oakland for one year. But obviously that changed. So what was the appeal to stick around Oakland University and the community for an entire career? Well, you're here. You you know the area. You know what Oakland County is. You know what how our university has grown from this tiny little commuter school into a 20,000, 5,000 on campus. Uh, just a, a you know a beautiful campus and a great place to work, a great place to be. And, and I've been fortunate enough to to grow up with that school. You know, I mean, my career has gone with the school. So. Uh, you know, I, I, it's just awesome, and, and I'm glad I've stayed. I, I, you know, I really am. I'm just glad that they've allowed me to stay and that I'm here. And you've made some special connections along the way. One of those has to be with Trey Townsend, one of your players. You actually coached his father as well. I mean, what kind of personal connection do you have with him and some of the other players you've coached over the years? Well, if you could see all the text messages I got last night and, and so many former players, uh, some I haven't heard from in a few years have have reached out and how proud they are and how glad, you know, how their phones are lighting up because everybody's talking about Oakland throughout the country. Um, you can understand that, you know, and, and Trey, Trey's dad, the best recruit I ever got because I got four years with him and then I got four more years with his son and, and his son's the player of the year in our conference and a big part of our win last night and, and, you know, they call him Mr. Oakland around around our campus because, you know, he grew up wanting to go to Oakland. Now, he's probably the only basketball player in the history of the state of Michigan that didn't want to go to Michigan or Michigan State. He wanted to go to Oakland, and, boy, that's really turned out good for me. 
It sure has. Hey, you know, congratulations to you and last night's win. I know you got a long road ahead of you. You guys want to continue playing. Thanks for joining us this morning. We know you have a busy road ahead, Coach Campy. Well, I appreciate you having Oakland on, and, and hopefully, you know, you'll, we'll talk next week and, and talk about the up-and-coming game for us. I would love that. Know that all of us here at CBS Detroit and all of Metro Detroit are cheering you on. Of course, we hope to have you back in after the Golden Grizzlies win it all. Thanks a lot, Coach. And, of course, you can always watch the Final Four on CBS Detroit.